Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to level up and go from Rebirth 10 all the way to Rebirth 11 in Roblox Shadowvis RPG. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is head into the Rebirth 8 portal. Then once you're inside, you want to drop down and then head towards the left side. Now, if you take a look on this side of the map, you can see that over there on that platform, there is a red dragon and that red dragon is an enemy that we need to fight. We first need to switch to this loadout. So the loadout that I'm using to get to the red dragon is the ringlet, the Valkyrie helmet, the lance, phantom soul this armor set the dark moon ring and also this shield now the next thing you need to do is just use your wings and you want to fly towards the red dragon now once you land it in this area with the red dragon you want to switch to a different loadout so the loadout i'm going to use to fight the red dragon is going to be the ringlet the nightmare this bow phantom soul this armor set this cape charted fang and also this shield if you're going to use a different loadout i recommend that you don't use the melee loadout because the red dragon's attacks can deal a lot of damage so you want to avoid his attacks as much as possible so with the red dragon, we're only gonna have to fight him once because the only thing that we need from the red dragon is his cubic. Now, once you have your loadout ready, what you wanna do is use your wings and attack the red dragon from a distance. Then once he starts chasing you, you wanna head back towards the castle. Ideally, the strategy you want to use to defeat the red dragon is that you wanna get the red dragon stuck between the castle like this. And the thing is, you need to avoid his orange attacks like the ones he just did a couple of seconds ago. Since I got this red dragon stuck between the walls, I'm gonna use my bow. I just gotta keep flying around to avoid his orange attacks once you got the red dragon stuck between the building then you can just keep attacking him from a distance just keep avoiding his orange fireball attacks the red dragon is almost about to be defeated and there he goes he goes down so once he's defeated his cubic should pop up i already have his cubic so that's why i didn't show up but since this is your first time defeating the red dragon you're gonna want to pick up his cubic and once you have his cubic you want to head back down the castle and then the next thing you need to do is switch to this loadout so the loadout is the same as before the ringlet valkyrie helmet the lance phantom soul this armor set i have this cape equipped it as well dark moon ring and this shield so once you got the loadout equipped it you want to head down this area until you see this enemy that is level 400 million and then in front of you you should also see another platform that has a really bright purple portal what you want to do is just use your wings and fly towards the purple portal now once you landed in this area with the purple portal you want to head inside the portal now once you're inside this area you will see this screen this area is basically the banland raid now you could complete this area with other people but you can also complete this area solo which i'm going to do right now so all you got to do is just press the green button on the left side and once you press it it will spawn you into the banland area now once you're in the banland area i recommend that you switch to a different loadout that uses a bow or any other weapon that is not a melee weapon so i'm going to use the same loadout that i used to fight the red dragon which is going to be the ringlet the cape the bow this shield this armor set nightmare charted fang and phantom soul now for the banland raids area you're gonna have to fight every enemy that you see and you can't leave any enemies behind these eternal prisoners should be no problem for you to defeat as long as you fight them from a distance once you defeated the prisoners use your wings and fly towards the next area the next enemies you will see are these prisoners and it's demon beasts again these enemies are really easy for you to defeat as long as you fight them from a distance once you defeated them you want to head down this area and then there's going to be more eternal prisoners and some harvest reapers again just like before you want to fight them from a distance you don't have to fight all the enemies at the same time you can fight them one by one there's also a dungeon master around here he's also going to be really easy for you to defeat just keep your distance away from from him and try to avoid his attacks once you're done with this area you want to drop down and there's going to be more prisoners that you need to fight make sure that you fight all the enemies that you see in this area and then once you're done with fighting the prisoners in this area there's going to be some crusaders and this void enemy right here again just make sure you fight them from a distance and it should be no problem for you to defeat them once you're done with this area you want to head towards the left side and you want to climb up you want to fight these three enemies and then once you're done use your wings and fly towards this area and then there's another group of three enemies you want to fight them and then you want to climb up now if you fight all the other enemies in the past area then this vampire lord should spawn you just want to fight the vampire lord and make sure you just avoid his attacks he's not going to one shot you but you just want to fight him from a distance now once you're done with the vampire lord you want to climb up and then on top of this platform there's going to be more enemies for you to fight remember that you got to fight all of them once you're done with these enemies in this area you just want to fly across and you just want to keep fighting these enemies once you're done with this area use your wings and fly onto this platform and keep heading across and then on this side there should be an enemy called a duke of darkness again you just just want to fight him when you're done with fighting that enemy you're gonna have to fight the final boss now for the final boss you want to head around and then you want to use your wings and fly across again now once you're across and next to the second white portal you want to head down this path and in front of you there should be the boss now it doesn't matter how you fight the boss we just need to fight him once so for this boss i'm just gonna switch this loadout with the ocean tremor executioner mask and this ocean jewel i'm gonna go up to the boss and i'm gonna start fighting now it doesn't matter if you get one-shotted by the boss or you go down because you're gonna spawn in the same area 
area and you can just keep fighting the boss until he goes down so i'm currently fighting him by staying close to him right now now once you defeated him if he drops a cubic you want to make sure that you pick it up now when you're done with the raid you're gonna spawn back in the starter world what you want to do next is head into the rebirth 5 portal and you want to fly down towards the left side until you get to this area which should be slightly below the death store which is on the right side you want to head into this area and once you're in this area you just want to head all the way across until you get to this green portal you want to head inside now once you're inside this new area if you got the boss drop from that boss which should be this cape then you want to equip it if you don't have this cape then it's fine then you could just keep using this ranger cape now in this area what you want to do is head all the way down fly across this area and keep heading straight down until you find this baron void which is level 300 billion now you basically want to fight this baron until you get to level 300 billion now this is also going to be the first afk strategy that you can use if you don't have any more time to play the game then you could just afk and fight this baron and when you come back you will be at a much higher level so you just want to keep fighting this baron until you get around level 300 billion now once you're around level 300 billion you have two options the first option is that you could keep heading up the stairs until you find this tyrant that is level 1t now you could basically fight this tyrant at level 300 billion but the thing is you cannot afk with him at this level you're gonna have to play the game if you want to fight the tyrant now if you don't want to fight the tyrant the next enemy that you could fight you're just gonna have to switch out your loadout for your flying loadout and once you have your flying loadout you just want to use your wings and fly up and land on the right side now once you land on this right side you want to keep heading up and you want to look for this baron that is level 700 billion then you could switch back to your other loadout and then you could just fight this level 700 billion baron until you get to level 1t so that you can rebirth to rebirth 11 now this is going to be the second afk strategy that you can use if you're level 300 billion and higher you can afk and fight this level 700 billion baron until you level up so that you can rebirth so these are the two options either fight the baron that is level 700 billion or fight the tyrant that is level 1t now once you get to level 1t remember to head into the hub of rebirth store your levels head back into that area fight those enemies again store your levels and repeat the process please make sure to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you found this video helpful anyways i hope everyone has a good rest of your day and i'll see everyone in the next video